Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of attributes of similarity and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have two rhombuses here on the screen and they are similar. And that is going to be a key word for us. Now what is the difference between congruent and similar? Because those are two terms that are related but they're not exactly the same. So we're looking at similarity today. So both congruent figures and similar figures have equal angles. So that's going to be key, is realizing they're both going to have equal angles. Check, check. So really what I did to create this is I actually started with this figure, this A, B, C, D, the larger one, rotated a little bit, then I copied it and resized it. Because when we have a similar shape, it's exactly the same, except we resize it. We don't flatten it. We just make it in scale larger or smaller. So it has the exact same equal angles at both shapes do. What they don't both have are equal sides. So congruent figures have equal sides. But obviously, you can see that my angle W, X, Y, Z has a, it's smaller and has smaller sides. And they could be rotated a little bit. But we could see that this A kind of lines up with this W. It rotates a little bit, right? This D kind of goes over here to this Z and so on. So those are the matching sides. So we're going to look at two different ways to understand these two similar rhombuses. First, we're going to look at ratios between. So that's really what we're going to be looking at are ratios. So let's look at some ratios between. So if I wanted to uh, find an equal proportion here, one thing I can say is, let's say this AD line right here. So this line that connects AD, I can say that right here. And I can make a proportion here. And that AD line, where does that match? Well, if A matches with W and D matches with Z, then it's going to match with WZ. So I'm going to make a fraction here. but to make a proportion, remember we need like or similar terms in the numerator and denominator, so I need to find another pair. Since my numerator is from the big rhombus, let me just go ahead and do this BC right here. So I'm going to make a, make a, a proportion here by using the big, and then I need to find the matching one over here, so the matching one is going to be X and Y. So you can have a ratio between the two. You notice that the top two right here, my numerators, are from my big rhombus. And my denominators are from my small rhombus, right? So that works because they not only have big, big on top, small, small on bottom, but they have matching sides, right? AD matches with WZ and BC matches with XY. Now we also have an opportunity to create ratios if we're comparing these within. So let's say I want to do opposite sides here. So I want to do DC. I haven't done that one yet. So I'm going to care. I'm going to compare my DC with the other only other side I haven't done AB. So I've got opposite sides. And so you know both of these right here are going to be from my big rhombus which means if I want to find a good proportion, I need to do the same thing, but it needs to be matching sides on the little rhombus. So I started with DC, so that's my left side right here. So that matches with my ZY. And then this AB matches with the other, only other one I haven't used, my WX. So these two come from my small rhombus. But we do see here that if we were to rotate this smaller one, right, this top numerator, DC and ZY, that is coming from my left side. So those two sides have to match, right? So this side right here matches with this side right here. And then th my numerators, my AB and WX, those come from my right side. So even though they're both within the big or they're both within the small, speaking about my numerators and denominators, the left to right, they match across. And that's how you look at the attributes of similarity with proportions.